Hey everyone, today I'm doing a hair tutorial for big, massive, curly hair. The bigger the better, I say. <laughs> if you're wondering what's going on with my face right here, um, I did a, another video which will be up before this one. I will link it a little later on in this video. But if you want to see how I got this big hair, just keep watching. Okay, so this is how I'm going to get really full, big, curly hair. So you might be wondering what's going on with my face. Well, I will link the video just here so you can see what my face is all about. But at the moment, I'm going to show you how I get big, massive, curly hair. So the first thing I'm going to use is the DiLorenzo um, Elements Sea Swell. You can see that. This just keeps your hair really nice. It smells delicious and it keeps your hair in its style for quite a while. So what I'm going to do is just put that all the way through my hair. Ooh yeah, it smells like coconut. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split my hair into three parts. So I'm going to split it down the middle here. And bring this part back. Okay, so I'm just going to get the first bit here. And I'm going to get my very hot curling iron and I'm going to curl it backwards so the curl stays backwards. Bring my hair down this way so you can see what I'm talking about. And I just got a piece about that much. Put the curling iron this way and roll backwards. Doesn't matter if a piece falls out, you just roll it in with the curl. Kind of like that. And then once this is set, I'm going to take one of my clips like this and I'm going to hold it in place so it doesn't move. So I'm just going to roll that curl back up and pop my pin in. Sometimes I need two because I have a lot of hair. <laughs> And then you just continue on. So you just take the next bit. Brush it. And curl backwards. And then you just can curl the rest of your hair as you would normally. I did put three curls on the top. This is just to give me that big volume when I need it. So the rest of the hair you can just curl normally. So what I'm just doing with my curls is I'm unraveling it a little bit and then I'm starting to release the curl from the barrel and making it go onto my finger like that. And then I'm just wrapping it 
flat back up into the curl and just pinning it so that when it starts to cool down the curl will sit a lot better okay I'm going to wait for these to set and cool down and then I'll be right back okay this side of my hair has cooled down same with the front so I'm going to start taking it out while this one cools down So you should end up with a mound of curls that look like this. So I want to make them bigger. So I'm just going to get a brush, just any like brush will do, and just start to brush it through just to give me a lot more volume. And just gently brush through the ends here. Then I'm just going to flip it forward and ruffle it up a little bit. Gets a bit of volume going. So now that I have my hair where I want it parted and everything like that, I'm just going to grab a section at the back, tease it up a little bit because we want some volume back there. Grab some hairspray and start to spray it up. I'm just going to put that there just to hold it up a little bit because I want mounds of volume. And then I'm just going to start to hairspray. So just to calm the frizz down a little bit, I'm going to take a uh, Nutra Gloss. This is the LV of Nutra Gloss. I don't think it's around anymore, but you can get just any oil and just pump it in your hand and just work with the hair. Just keep scrunching it upwards because you want it to stay big, but then also not be so frizzy. Okay, so if you're playing with your hair and you lose a little bit of curl, like here, it's not a problem. You can just grab your curling iron and just curl it up. Okay, so that's how I get big hair, big curly hair, and I love it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.